Hi, my name is Charlie Majorana, and I'm an artist working in rural Maryland. My great joy in life is learning about new materials and techniques and giving them a try. I'm also the author of the book, Puttering Around the Art Studio, which contains a lot of my best ideas and techniques. It's available through Amazon if you'd like to pick up a copy, and I've included a link below the video. A popular piece of yard art I've designed, and one that I've made about three or four times over the past years, is a hubcap ball, which I construct from either six or 12 plastic hubcaps. This video contains complete instruction on how to make one for yourself. Making one is not very complicated and can easily be made in a few hours using basic tools. The hubcap ball can either be mounted on a pipe you've driven into the ground or hung from a branch. I've made them both ways. The construction technique I'll be showing you in this video is applicable to almost any round object such as garbage can covers, plant trays, metal pizza trays, food trays, snow discs, decorative bowls, plastic platters, etc. If you look around, you'll see that the world is full of round objects. Here are some samples of other ball-like constructions I've made. If I am going to make the hubcap ball using six hubcaps, the shape will be based on a simple cube. Because I orient the cube on a corner, and because of the curvature of the hubcaps, the cube shape is disguised a bit and the construction appears to be somewhat spherical, especially if you squint. If I am going to make the hubcap ball using 12 hubcaps, the shape will be based on a dodecahedron and be much more ball-like, but you don't really need to know this. What you do need to know is that if you taped six identical circles around a seventh, the circles would all touch and would lie in a flat plane. If you removed one of the circles and taped the remaining five circles equally spaced around the center circle, followed by folding up the circles and taping where they touch, you would end up with a bowl-shaped object. If you made two of these and taped them on top of one another, you will create a dodecahedron, and this is exactly the shape that all my 12 unit balls are based on. The large ball uh, that I showed you uh, that was made from painted plant trays is actually based on a form called a giant truncated icosahedron, which is also known as a soccer ball, and making one uses different sized objects and it's beyond the scope of this video. If you are going to make a construction based on 12 circular objects, you need to be able to accurately lay out where the connectors will be placed. You might have noticed on the paper model that I had uh, included lines on each circle that were exactly 72 degrees apart, um, just 360 degrees divided by five. Uh, and this allowed me to tape it up at fairly accurately. When I actually make the real uh, hubcap uh, dodecahedron, I'll be using a paper template that again has lines spaced 72 degrees apart, and I draw a circle in the center of the template that is the same size as whatever object I'm going to be using, and this allows me to position the objects accurately. The most challenging aspect of making these balls is how to connect the pieces together. I use a variety of techniques depending on what I plan to connect. In this video, I will use a simple piece of PVC pipe and sheet metal screws for the connectors. Depending on the materials, I have used a number of other types of connectors, such as machine screws and nuts on balls made from plant trays, zip ties on a ball made from grills, but most often, I use small pieces of bent aluminum strip combined with pop rivets. These types of ball sculptures can be either hung or mounted on a pipe. 
If you plan to hang the ball, you can just attach a string or a wire to a corner. If you plan to mount it on a pipe, you'll need to include a cup to catch the top of the pipe. I usually use a small stainless steel bowl for the cup and attach it using the same attachment method I use for the connectors. In the video demo, I will be making the six hubcap construction with a hanging mounting as I plan to use it in a mobile and the 12 hubcap construction with a cup for pipe mounting. The very first hubcap ball I made about 20 years ago used metal hubcaps that I collected near potholes in Washington DC while walking my dog. Most of the hubcaps I used in that first effort were slightly damaged, but this was offset by the hubcaps being free and all the hubcaps being different designs. It took me a while to collect enough that were the same size and in good enough condition to use. When I make a hubcap ball today, I take the easy way out and use new plastic hubcaps. There are a lot of inexpensive plastic hubcap designs available that cost about $7 to $15 per hubcap, some of which are colored or have colored elements. These are sold by all the auto parts outlets and are also available on Amazon. About the only limitation to be aware of is that the hubcaps need to be the same size. The common available sizes run from about 13 inches in diameter up to about 22 inches in diameter. I usually use either the 14 inch or the 16 inch and for today's demos I will be using the 14 inch diameter hubcaps. The hubcaps are usually sold in packs of four so you'll need to buy two packs to make a cube and three packs to make the decahedron design. I've made these using all the same designs, but I think they are more interesting when you use a few different designs. Almost any type of hubcap you buy will be suitable as long as they're all the same size, but I do recommend you stay away from the Farad brand um, because of the it has extra protrusions on the back and so it's hard to connect them together. Also, if you're just starting out and want to be easy on yourself, if you're doing a cube, Pick hubcaps that have no uh, spokes or four or, or eight spokes. And if you're doing a dodecahedron, pick hubcaps that have no spokes or five or ten spokes. It'll be a lot easier to position the connectors. The first step in preparing the hubcaps is to remove the restraining wire um, if it's already attached. It just snaps off and just uh, get rid of them. The next step is if you want to remove the tabs, uh, just saw them off. Uh, sometimes the tabs are very high and they get in your way, and other times they're so short that it doesn't make any difference. Um, here are some tabs and here's where I've cut them off. Um, they're, they're, it's just thin plastic, so any saw is good enough. The next step is to put a little mark on the edge of the hubcap where the uh, connections are going to go. And here I've prepared a template, and my template has uh, 90 degree lines on it for the sixth uh, hubcap construction and then five lines spaced at 72 degrees for the dodecahedron construction. And I put some circles in the center so that I can kind of line up the hubcap. And once I've lined up the hubcap and I just put little marks. And I do that for all the hubcaps. The next step is to drill holes um, on either side of your marks, about a half inch on either side. And you might have to get a little creative um, if there's a, a spoke in the way. And you might have to just use one screw um, in some places. Anyway, I'm just drilling a, 
eleven sixty fourths hole. The next step is to attach some of the um, PVC connectors and you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself because um, it's easy to lose track of the fact that if there's a connector here you don't need one on the other side. How I attach the connectors is I just simply hold it in place, drill a pilot hole, and here this is a 730 or uh, 764 <laughs> yep a 764th pilot hole hold the connector in place drill put one of the screws in Then I drill the second pilot hole if I have space and put the other screw in. So once you have a few connectors in, it's time to start building it. And all I do is hold it approximately at 90 degrees for the six hubcap uh, construction. Drill a pilot hole. And I won't tighten the screws um, here yet. I'll just get it so it holds. And so that's the first um, hubcap positioned. I'm set that aside for now. So now I'm ready to attach the third hubcap. I'll point out because of the spoke design, I was only able to get one hole, uh, one screw in each hole, but it'll hold together fine. So I position this where it should be. It's times like this, I wish I had three hands. <laughs> okay. Do a pilot hole.
And now I'm ready for the fourth. Hubcap. And here's the completed six hub cap construction, um, ready to be incorporated into the uh, mobile that I'm planning to use it in. Now, one of the things I did differently for the 12 um, hub cap construction is that once I had uh, the first six hub caps um, drilled and ready, I, I tape them together, um, whereas it's easy to estimate 90 degrees, it certainly isn't easy to estimate the correct angle for making the dodecahedron. So by taping it together, you naturally find that angle. Now, the other thing that I did that was different than making the six hub cap construction is I um, screwed a, or I'm going to be screwing a, uh, cup inside and this this is because I'm going to be mounting the construction on a pipe and the pipe needs some place to be caught now how I did this or how I'm doing this is I just position the uh, cup where I wanted it did did three marks drilled holes came through with a pen marked the where the holes were going to be on the bowl and this is by the way this is a five inch ikea uh stainless steel bowl and nice and heavy weight and so the pipe isn't going to break through um and now i'm just going to put it in there and screw it in so now that the cup is attached i can go ahead and flip it over and finish up adding all the rest of the um cup caps So here's the assembled um, dodecahedron uh, hubcap uh, construction. And um, all that's left to do is for me to pound a pipe into the ground and um, install it, which I'll do first thing in the morning. Well, it's now first thing in the morning. I've pounded a pipe in with a uh, fence post uh, pounder. Um, I placed the uh, construction over the top of the pipe. Uh, totally, it took me about 15 minutes. Um, by the way, in case you're interested, it took me about, oh, I'd say, um, no, two hours to uh, assemble the 12 hubcap construction from start to finish. I think it adds a nice little um, addition to my yard art collection. By the way, there are 750,000 auto mechanics in the United States, and I'm sure every one of them is going to want one of these in front of their house, so you'd better get busy. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it was instructive for you. Um, if you did enjoy it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, I plan to post a number of videos in the future, uh, and if you'd like to be notified when a new video is posted, just be sure to subscribe.